For many photographic subjects, blurring the background is a good way to bring the viewer's attention to the main subject. Sometimes it's hard to get the effect you want in camera, especially with cameras with smaller sensors. In this tutorial, I'll show you two different ways of using blur to place focus on your subject. In our first example, we want to really emphasize the focus on the golf ball. Photoshop's Blur Gallery has several different blur effects that you can experiment with. We'll be using the iris blur. To preserve the original image and apply the blur filter non-destructively, we'll make the image a smart object. In the Layers panel, we right-click the background layer and choose Convert to Smart Object in the Context menu. Now the blur will be applied as a non-destructive smart filter. From the Filter menu, we choose Filter, Blur Gallery, Iris Blur. Since we want only the golf ball to be in focus and everything else blurred, we drag within the Iris Blur ellipse to position it over the golf ball. Anything inside the ellipse is preserved, while everything outside the ellipse is blurred. Holding down the shift key while you drag the edge of the ellipse turns it into a circle. And we'll adjust it to the size of the golf ball. To adjust the amount of the iris blur, use the slider in the Blur Tools panel. When you're satisfied with the effect, click OK in the Options bar. And there we have the golf ball in focus with everything else blurred. Now let's do a more complex blur. This time we're going to create an image that looks as if it was photographed using a shallow depth of field. This makes the background less distracting and places the emphasis on our subject, in this case, the crab. First, we're going to make the image a smart object so the filter will not alter the original photo. In the Layers panel, right-click the background layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. Now our blur will be applied as a non-destructive smart filter. Next, we'll make a selection around the crab to protect it from the blur filter. We'll use the Quick Selection tool To remove areas that you don't want selected, hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows while using the Quick Selection tool. Now let's click the Refine Edge in the Options bar to refine our selection. Using the Refine Edge, you can change the view mode to your preference. I'm going to view my selection against white. Click the Refine Radius tool and paint around the edge of the crab. The edge detection will do its best to refine the selection. You can also use the Adjust Edge sliders to further refine your selection. I'm going to use Contrast to refine the edge selection. OK, that looks good, so I'll click OK. Right now we have the crab selected, and if we apply the filter, the crab will be blurred. So we need to invert the selection so everything else except the crab is selected. From the Select menu, choose Select Inverse. For this tutorial, we'll use the Gaussian Blur Filter. From the Filter menu, choose Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. 
In the Gaussian Blur dialog box, we adjust the radius to the amount of blur we want. And then click OK. The Gaussian Blur is added as a smart filter. Right now we have the crab in focus and everything else is blurred. Although this places emphasis on the crab, it looks unreal. The foreground around the crab should be in focus. To bring back the foreground, we'll modify the Smart Filter Mask. Like any other layer mask in Photoshop, you paint with either black or white to either add or remove areas of the mask. We select the Smart Filters Mask, then select the Brush Tool and make sure to paint with black. Now we paint to remove the blurred area. If we need to add the blur back in, we paint the mask with white. Since our Gaussian Blur is a smart filter, we can double-click it in the Layers panel if we want to make further adjustments. And if I turn the Smart Filter off, you can see that the original image is untouched. So there you have it, two ways of creating focus in images by using Blur.